Yo guys, what is up? Hope you guys are all happy. Hope you guys are all doing well. Smashing your projects. So in today's video, we have the long awaited for Lightroom tutorial. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this one for a long time and I just never seem to do because I'm always on the run. But finally, I've been blessed with some sickness the cold it's a little bit cloud well cloudy no it's raining it's like the worst week in the city right now welcome back to anybody who's been here since the journey began and also if there's anybody new here consider subscribing we do a lot of behind the scenes shoots here photos of strangers how i meet all of my best friends these days this is going to be a chill style tutorial i'm just going to sit here edit do my thing so i'm just going to go from start to finish yeah get a drink get something to eat don't put your coffee or drink near the laptop. That is a problem that can be avoided. Okay, boom, here we are guys. We are in Lightroom. So let me show you my steps to editing this picture. So what I've already done with this picture, I've already taken it into Photoshop. So we didn't have to do that after. I haven't done much. The only thing I did in Photoshop was remove the dark bits here under her eyes. So this usually happens when you're shooting backlit photos. And also, if you guys want this kind of tutorial in the future for Photoshop, then just let me know. Other than that, we'll get started. So the first thing I usually do is I just work through the sliders here on the side. So the first thing usually exposure. Highlights are something that I usually always bring down. I don't know why, I just prefer. So I'm gonna bring them all the way down, 61, because I usually play with this after. And I hope you guys are all doing good. How are you guys doing? What is new? Where are you guys from? Let me know in the comments where you guys are from. It's always cool to know. Uh, okay, so the next one is gonna be, let's say bring down the blacks just slightly. One thing about editing, something I've realized is that very small things make a huge difference because if not, some that's when it starts looking crazy. So I'm gonna bring this saturation, saturation. I'm gonna bring this saturation up and let's say clarity, let's say about seven is looking good to me. Next one, let's head down here to my favorite, the tone curve. Let me just actually move this so I'm more in the frame. This is. Not all about the MacBook, you guys. Boom, better. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is the tone curve. And usually with the curve, I, well, for this picture, I'm just gonna make just a minor adjustment. Say about here. And this here, so when you guys ask me how do I get this, turquoise blue this is what i usually do i usually bring this down here this is going to give you a blue into your highlights and just a touch you don't need to go crazy yeah otherwise it's going to start looking mad and then i'm going to bring because this is london we have the red vibes i'm going to bring it up here let's say in the mid tones this is how it works guys on the tone curve you guys probably know i probably said this before but i'm going to say it again the top end of the highlights, down the bottom, shadows, and in the middle are the mid-tones. So I'm going to bring it like this. So we have some more red in there, and then we're going to have some blue in the highlights. My favorite. It just looks so good and cinematic. For the green, let's bring the green up for the highlights. This is another one that I usually like doing, maybe just a little bit more. And then we're going to bring the purple down. So the perp we're going to have purple in the shadows. So let's say about here, we bring it down, not too much. It's like a very fine line before you start making things look crazy. But that looks good to me. If you guys wanna see the before and after while you're editing, you know as well, you can just hit Y, then you can see the before and after. Then you know if you've gone too far, you can be like, yo, take it back a bit, take it back. So for this one, I might actually just bring the purple up slightly. For some reason, usually with the blues, I don't usually touch anything here. So let's go down, just depends on what I'm shooting or what I'm editing. Next one, we're gonna work here in HSL and HSL is like another lifesaver. Come here to orange first and let's say minor adjustments as well. And we're gonna bring the luminance up to three as well. If you guys are coming to Barcelona, let me know. I will shoot, I'm not gonna say I will shoot you. I'm, that sounds bad. I'm going to do a photo shoot for you guys message me and book a shoot with me. Okay, so we have, let's see. You guys just distracted me. Okay, next one. 
the yellow I'm bringing this one down let's say about 12 and if you guys hit this eye you can see your before and after and if you look you can't really even see a difference but I think that's what makes editing magical like the last two videos I've done guys and two videos I've shot I had the mic unplugged well I had it plugged into the headphone jack so I gotta be careful now okay so we're gonna bring that down just a little bit and let's say for the green there's just a tiny bit of green in the background so I'm gonna bring that one down quite a bit you guys can see it here it's in here and then let's say blue is another one blue is another one of my saviors that I usually always get this super nice look with so this one we're gonna bring it down to 31 boom and also a lot of you guys ask me if I have presets for sale, yes, presets are coming. I'm just working on the shop and everything. So it's the first time I've done that with presets, so I don't really know what to do. So I'm actually studying myself to put it up there for you guys. If you have any tips, please help out. So I'm doing that as soon as possible, but my presets are ready, ready to rock. I have, I gave away some packs on Instagram as well. So make sure you guys follow me there so you can keep up with the competitions. Okay, so blue, you guys can see now, if I turn this on and off, you can see here in the window and also down here too, just this blue just looks super cinematic. So we're going to rock with that. And the next one, purple, let's bring that down quite a bit. Let's say about 34. And let's say magenta about 17. Okay, for the color grading, you guys. So let's say maybe this color and let's just bring it down just a tiny bit. So these are, this is the overall look of the picture. For shadows and highlights, I'm gonna bring both of them in orange and shadows too, let's say. Okay, and now if you see before and after, you can see there is quite a big difference. I do love the orange, but I'm going to just bring this down slightly and back where we did the tone curve I feel like maybe it's just a little bit too green here so I think I'm going to boom that was it pull it down just a little bit so it isn't as powerful but nice and purple shots I like that okay and then the last thing I'm gonna do here is come down here to grain and this one very small I'm just gonna bring it to five so now here guys, you can see the before and after, you can see it's got that super nice look. Now we have the base foundation of how we want this picture to look. That's all it takes. So the next thing we can do as well, what I was doing before, I started doing the masking. So I'll just take that off and show you guys again. And what we're gonna do is come here to mask. Say so just in here, we can bring this up just a little bit, just a, a touch and also what I did before I'm just going to delete this and start again so I can show you guys so come here to masking again I'm going to do another brush and just in this area around here and around her face here to give a bit of a dreamy look maybe a bit more in here I'm going to hit well come down here to dehaze and dehaze Kind of makes it brighter as well, you can see, but it also makes it this kind of hazy, blurry when you bring it down. When you bring it up, it does the opposite. One cool thing that you guys can do as well, which is a quick, easy way to give it this really like dreamy effect and for the skin as well, you come here, select people. And now Lightroom has made it super simple with all of the things that you can use. So we have facial skin here, click facial skin, create mask, and boom, create it. And if you want to make her skin like this smooth, doll-like look, which is just obviously blowing up everywhere, you guys can just bring it down here. Your preference. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here. The eyes are super important too. I'm just going to make this, just these parts here a little bit brighter as well. And can you guys believe, so I met this girl uh, when I was in London doing pictures of strangers and she actually is a fashion model. Okay, next thing we're gonna come back here to mask and next part here goes the eyes. So I usually love doing this with people with these um, 
kinds of eyes because it looks really nice so you guys can see. So this is what I usually do on all my shots. Bring up the exposure, spit it out. <laughs> Bring up the exposure and also the saturation and the sharpness. And boom, that is basically it guys. So here, if I do that, you can see the before and after. This was the actual shot I put on Instagram. So boom, it looks exactly the same. Actually, the new one looks even better. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me know in the comments. Uh, give me a like. I'll show you the before and after one more time. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Comment, let me know what you thought and if this was helpful and I will be happy to make some more for you guys. Just let me know in the comments. Have a good day guys. Adios.